Welcome, and today we are going to discuss terminal blocks, the different features to be aware of, and the way to choose the best one for your application. A terminal block is a modular housing with an insulated body that either connects multiple wires together or connects wires to circuit boards. As you can see from these examples before me, there are a large variety of options and there is even more variation than is readily apparent just by looking at them. This variety opens them up to a wide array of applications where they are particularly suited. These are ideal for designs that require secure, well-organized, and semi-permanent wire connections that can easily be changed out in the field. There are three different types of terminal blocks. PCB mount, which are used for connecting wires to PCBs. Then there are barrier strips with screw down terminals that are used to securely tighten the wires into the housing, usually using a spade or ring connector instead of bare wires. And feed through terminal blocks, which are used for connecting different wires together, but are more thoroughly isolated and protected from accidental contact than barrier strips. In my experience, when people are referring to terminal blocks, the PCB mount type is the one that first comes to mind. And while nearly all of the features we discuss today will be applicable to any of the three types, I will be using PCB mount terminal blocks as examples. The first set of features that should be considered are the electrical ratings and connections for the terminal block. One of the most straightforward parameters is the pole count, basically how many electrical connections it has. While two poles is usually the fewest poles available, there are options up to 24 poles per block or more. And the separation between each pole is the pitch, which is measured as the distance from the center of one connection point and the next connection point. Decreasing the pitch yields smaller terminal blocks, but also can make it very cluttered or increase the chance of accidental connections. Perhaps more importantly than the pitch is the wire sizes accepted by a terminal block, generally measured in gauge or AWG, having a terminal block for the correct wire size is crucial. Too big of wire and it won't fit, but too small of wire often means that the terminal block can't secure it in place properly. And finally, while discussing the electrical ratings and connections, it shouldn't be any surprise that each terminal block will both have a current and voltage rating. When looking at these ratings, it's usually recommended to find a terminal block that is rated for at least 150% of the max current expected, or there may be overheating and serious damage. While evaluating the voltage rating, you should also take into consideration any potential voltage surges. You also need to take the purely mechanical aspects of terminal blocks into consideration. How is the wire secured in place? What way does it go in? Usually wire comes in either from the side, from the top, or at a 45 degree angle. In these cases, it's necessary to consider both the board layout and how it will fit in its enclosure. There are also three options for securing the wire. Screw type, where you use a screwdriver to tighten down on the wire. Push button, where you push in a button, insert the wire, and then release the button to clamp the wire into place. And push in, where you simply push the wire in and a spring clamp holds it in place. While discussing the amount of poles each terminal block has, it can be noted that certain modules are designed to be interlocking, giving the option to connect multiple modules together. There are also options for pluggable terminal blocks where the wire goes into a plug and that plug is then inserted into a receptacle, which is optimal for connections that need to be disconnected frequently where you don't want to disconnect the wires individually. Besides these more obvious practical considerations, terminal block color can be varied, which may be useful for identification and marking. For example, if you were to use a plug and receptacle setup, making them color coordinated to reduce the chance of accidentally plugging into the wrong receptacle could be quite useful. Terminal blocks are incredibly useful in both the prototyping and production phases, making lab and field connections as well as modifications quick and painless, yet still very secure. If you have any questions or want to learn more about the different interconnect options available, check out our interconnect blogs on cuidevices.com.